Appreciate it. What was the list though? On this one? Did it say? Sorry. 354 30. 354 Pat Center. All right. Thanks, man. Early, early morning. Let's get up this mountain. Now, I know I ill advised to take the heavy loads up, but it was something getting me home and paying for fuel. So, little baby stepping up there. These motors I know are made to do this, but it's, uh, it's just really harder on the motor than it needs to be. Somebody commented, um, and Larry, thank you so much for that letter I got also, Larry, about the pulleys for the Camaro. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the, the supercharger on my Camaro sent me some awesome uh, information on that. But, um, yeah, the mountains going up to Tennessee from like North Carolina have some big grades, some six percenters, so you got, and it in the last for a while. So you got to really you push your six NZ real good like JT does, which I think pulls forever, but the Cummins, if it's your truck, if it's your motor, you want to keep it lasting for a while, so you try to avoid that stuff, but it's a good rate. You got us home. Let's go deliver it. All right, let's pre-trip this thing. Check over our trailer, too. Oil is looking fabuloso. That noise you hear is the fuel pump pulling in, priming, getting ready for that filter. Let's check the other side. This right here is the sensor that is to giving my turbo speed, how fast it's spooling. That is going out. I disconnected it and reconnected it. Last time, it kind of cleared the code, but... I can't really see that, yeah. I can disconnect it, it's just a two prong. Need to replace that, need to find where that's at. Uh, plug it back in, I don't know if it's the wires or the actual sensor, but I'm betting it being the sensor, so. Alrighty, everything else looks good in here. Let's fire up, get some air. I did lose one flag uh, in Florida. So I was actually just hanging off the, the actual hole for the hook, like just ripped off, so I took that off. Still got one though, the one hanging on. Okay, let's fire up. Uh, still pretty shiny in here, but yeah, that check engine's still on. Come on. All right. Let's idle up, check the rest of this trailer. Uh -huh. There goes Mr. DPS. Four in the morning, and the tears are falling, and I want to make it worth the fight. Oh, yeah. Bit of a Gwen Stefani there, no doubt. Beautiful morning, 62 degrees, not cold at all. I kind of wanted to get up here, it's almost five, it's like 445, before um, traffic, before that morning Monday rush. Let's drop a gear, there we go. Oh. This is Pleasantburg, set up to Asheville and right through Asheville. Through the heavy grades of 26. My goodness, up to Tennessee. Ooh, we got the yellow lights. This is that turn where you kind of have to take both lanes so no one jumps under you. Oh, yeah. No wide open, but there's a green light, but no cars. Okay, wait our turn. Since gaining a little elevation up here, 49 degrees. <laughs> 13 degree swing. We're starting to go up these big grades, so push the old Cummins ISX a little hard, but not too hard. I'll drop a gear and just cruise on up here. Coming into Asheville, um, I wonder if this construction will ever be done. I don't know. Kind of just diverge left or right and go everywhere. A little bit rough roads, but got it. All right, and then we're back to 60 degrees. So just that little valley through there dropped to 49. My goodness. All right, you go, yellow Camaro or gold Camaro, whatever you are. I keep chilling, but her did make progress, but not quite there. Just past the rest area back there, and this uh, northbound side has like three trucks in it. The southbound side, full. They like parked on the side of the road. I don't get it. Maybe, uh... That's a stopping point for a lot of guys. I don't know, let me know in the comments if you know why that. I should have got uh, film of it, but I just noticed it as I was going by. I was like, whoa, there's like three trucks in that one, and that one's a full as heck. <laughs> Crazy. All right, Nashville, here we are. Finally out of the construction. Oh, man. 
man. There we go. Sunday. The sun's rising. Beautiful, beautiful Monday. Some black cows hanging out in the field over there. And uh oh, this guy's going a little slow, but I got a guy right behind me. Come on. Want to lose your momentum, but yeah, we got going over here. Oh, he's getting over too. Dang it! Enterprise. Okay, okay. Let's get that momentum back. It's been a while since I've been up here. Uh, if you've never heard of the Biltmore Estate, look it up. It used to be the, I think, the largest, or still is maybe, the largest private residency. The, they do tours of it. We took a tour. Uh, last Christmas, or maybe this Christmas, with our, my buddy Keegan came out from California. Well, so you get on 26, and it's a quick uh, merge to the left coming up here to head up towards uh, Kingsport. So be prepared for it. But it's been a while since I've had this truck up here. Even going up to Knoxville, a long time. You can kind of see through the trees over there. There's a river flowing right down there, a little RV park. Uh, you go right over it up here, but here comes that quick merge to 26. Oh, yeah. 14.5. So it's best to come on here on, in the left lane and then go ahead and cut on over. Oh, yeah. Got an F-150 coming up. There you go. We'll scoot in behind him. All right. There's a big bridge right here that goes over that river. Asheville kind of has like a, um, a free spirit vibe to it. Uh, like, like breweries and I guess kind of like hippie-ish vibe. There's a river right down there. You gotta get over in this left lane. Not too much traffic right now, but if it was, ooh, a pretty, pretty cool vibe to Asheville, but uh, college town kind of mixture of free spirits. There we go, 26. Okay, we made it to the merge left. Good morning, Asheville. I have the officer just sitting there on the off ramp, waiting for someone speeding down the mountain. Oh man, we're gonna keep the Jake's on, keep it slow, keep it crisp, get there safely. Only 70 miles to go. Look at those gorgeous, gorgeous clouds. Maintain 20 miles an hour. They'll go ahead and give a little picture, picture check of you. And then they want you to check your brakes. Advisory, next 45 miles, wait 45 miles per hour, 8,000, 35,000 miles. So we just climbed this whole big thing. Now we're gonna fly back down it. Oh, that gear's too low. Go this gear and hit the jake brakes so you're going to surge your brakes if you're new to trucking you don't you can't just hold your foot on the brake the whole way down that's it, called burning your brakes smoking your brakes so i'm going to go one more gear up and i'm going to leave it right there low side of uh what, 16th gear no i'm in 15th gear right now so i got 15 16 and 17 18 behind it so just surge your brakes push on and let them go that's all you got to do if you just hold them the whole time they're going to get hot 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 they're gonna stop working. <laughs> and then that's smoking your brakes and then that's the uh, emergency off ramp to stop your truck from rolling down the hill. But uh, yeah, hands-free devices only. All right, but we're in Tennessee. Beautiful. You just start out early, we're like 40 miles an hour, but you can see we're gaining speed. The jigs are working. That is exactly the ramp I'm talking about. Your brakes are gone, you head straight up there. It's a bunch of deep sand. Stop your truck, but it's gonna mess up your truck also. Try not to do that, save the signs. Looks like somebody took a little spill down there. Or maybe that sign just got knocked over, or that guardrail, whatever that is. Looks like the road just kind of peels up. You see all the lining on the ground? It's like the, or maybe that's temporary, I don't know. Definitely doing some bridge work. So they're down to one lane. Okay. And this grade is both ways. So of course when we're coming back, we're gonna have to climb this mountain going the opposite way. But mountain driving's definitely a serious thing. There's a lot of it out in the west too, but out here in the Carolinas, Tennessee, we do have some mountains. It's 
especially this little track right here. Another runaway truck ramp. A mile away. Everybody's not at work yet for Monday. Forklift's just chilling. It's about 8 a.m. I guess they come in at 9. Well, there's guys over there on the left side. Just sitting on their phones, hanging out. There you go. Get this done eventually. That's the motto. What that thing is. I don't know what that thing is even doing. Or that thing right there. I don't know. Okay. We still got another uh, mountain to climb up here, but that was the first of the two. Here's our first glimpse of the sun right there over the mountain. Um, one cool thing about Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina too, but they really manicure like their rest areas and their their grass on the side of the road pretty well when it's coming to one of the things. But welcome center and rest area for Tennessee coming up. Still surging our brakes. I know surge sounds like a weird name for it. it. Kind of sounds like that soda that they had come out back in the 2000s or 2010, I think it was. Um, I remember surge, but they probably still make it. But um, yeah, you're just pressing and letting go. Pressing and letting go. There you go. We have, uh, Tennessee has some of the most beautiful rest areas also. Real nice. They don't look like much to the right, but they go way back there and then they have parking kind of over behind them. There's that one right there. Okay. Nice, quiet, mountainous uh, sleep for the night. What does it say right there? It says... I don't know what that says. Well, oh, welcome. Okay. I thought I said H-E something, but it says welcome made with bushes. Cool. All right. Enough rambling. Back to surging. Jake breaks and surge. Beautiful country up here, though. You can see over to the right, you get a little glimpse of that river back down over there. Behind that red, uh, red roof where everything's red over there. There it is. Beautiful. Imagine living right there. It's pretty cool. Just having your backyard be the river. Yeah, he's got a bunch of satellite dishes right over there behind his house. I don't know what that is. But I've been up here before in the winter when it's snowing. Not, I mean, it's well plowed. It wasn't bad, but nice little place. Probably been up here maybe a handful of times, four or five times. I've, I've stopped right there before when, uh, on this exit to look for loads. Um, I remember that. I'm trying to come back down. Might be doing that again today. I don't know. We might cross over to Jacksonville, or not Jacksonville, Knoxville. Um, Cause we'll go right off the 81 right now. And it has been a while since I've seen the 81. 81, you should take that lot going up to Pennsylvania. I went all the way, every state up there except Rhode Island and uh, New York City, which isn't a state, but I mean, New York. But upstate New York, I had no idea it was so like farm industrial, like mountainous, like Buffalo, um, all the way down to back to New Jersey, Philadelphia. It's, Wide open, <laughs> pretty, pretty country up there. But I haven't been up there forever. Rates are just not even worth it unless you live up there. I don't know why I would try to get back there. It's like $1,100 from here for 600 miles. Not worth it. What are those yellow things? I never figured out what the other yellow things were that were where I picked up the little girl in Florida. Oh, it's just a bunch of tubing, it looks like. Oh yeah, making all kinds of stuff up here. Oh, there's a big old hot dog right there, Preston. Preston's hot dogs, is that something? I don't know. Making hot dogs up here in Tennessee. I'm rambling. The sun's rising. Let's get up to Kingsport. There is that Lifeline 81 down there. We only have four miles left and we are exiting. Yeah, 81. Take you right over to Knoxville or right over to Bristol. Okay. Almost there. Right on time. The appointment could have been from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m., but why not get there at 8 a.m., you know? Kingsport. Pretty bit downhill coming to exit four. And then we have three miles off of here. Then we're there. Not 100% sure I've delivered here before, but maybe I have. We'll see. Just drop another gear. Let the Jake brakes work. It's a hard offering right there. Stay straight to middle lanes.
place is huge. To our right, like it goes all the way down. I kind of want to say I believe I've delivered here before. I think I came up the other way though. But man, it says this place was settled in 1761. Kingport. They got the river right down there. I don't know what they're making here, but this place is gigantic. Woo! Gigantic. Take two, uh, two stop lines, take a right. Looks like that. I don't know if that was an old building. Looks like it's abandoned. There's a bunch of broken windows. Maybe they still use it for something. I don't know. I don't know. Alright. Brickyard Park. Yellow lights. Is saying uh, take a ride up there the next line. Okay. Pretty modern looking building around all this old uh, industrial thing, but it's East Eastman Corporate Offices. That's the same name for the uh, chemical plant we're delivering to. Let me know what you know about that company, guys, in the uh, comments. Eastman. Eastman Shipping and Receiving. That's where we're going. Okay. Civic Auditorium, V. O. Dobbins Community Center. Alright, whoa, 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 little Jeep. I, want, I wanted to use a little bit of that lane, but let you have it. We'll let you have it. We got a green arrow. We got a street bike coming at us. We'll make that curve with ease. There you go. I love it when they have giant signs for trucks. Look at that. Eastman should be going to see me. I can see it from here. Woo. Love it. Why don't? Why doesn't every place have that? I don't know. I don't know. Wrong gear. But I think I've been here, guys. I think I've delivered here once. If there's like a huge, like three or four lanes that, that come on into an open area. Uh, is it this one right here? No, that's not it. Some solar panels. Some train tracks. Different gear. Let's go for this gear. Find the gear. Yeah, I think I have been here. Man, just came from a different way. I think last time I came down the other side. Okay. Now, there's no sign that says shipping and receiving right here, but a bunch of dry van trailers. So I'm thinking so. Probably thinking that's the head security office right there to my right. Definitely can make this turn. Uh, I just didn't see another truck going through here or anything. But man, this place is huge. Alright, let's uh what does it say there? She's walking out. Is she gonna direct me or she's gonna get oh she says stop here. Okay, stop here. Let's see what she says. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, make you turn in the parking lot and go down to the next ride. So it's road down? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Wish they had a sign for that. <laughs> All right. Thanks for telling me. So let's miss this curve, which a lot of people have hit it. But since we're kind of already over here to the right, we're probably gonna graze it also. Yes, we are. But everybody else has. All right. Make a circle and get out of here. Okay. She knew right away you haven't been to ship and receive heavy. Uh yeah. I saw a bunch of truck trailers and said, this is probably where we're going. And I didn't see a sign that said ship and receive. You had one that pointed ahead, but then you didn't have another one after that. No biggie. Let's go to shipping and receiving. And it'll probably send us right back here, which is crazy. So this sign's a good mile down the road. <laughs> Maybe like three quarter mile, but all right. Maybe have a sign down there in front of that entrance that says continue forward. Just a thought, but thanks for the signs. Either way, at least you have some. Chemical Company, Tennessee Operations. Right. I kind of don't remember this, but I do remember where I just was. Uh, yeah, a lot, a lot of older buildings you can see have been here forever, the brick ones over there. Uh, one of them has like a big old tarp sheet kind of covering the windows. Maybe they're working on it, I don't know. Yield, okay, I got nobody coming to my left. All trucks, okay, kind of a U-turn right here, all right. All right, all right, take this wide. Because the W9 does not have good turn radius. Not at all. Okay, I do remember this. Yes, I've been here. Remember I was talking about the big lanes? 
This is it. Yep. Okay. And last time I think I unloaded right here. I don't remember if I had what I have now. I just have like paper stock. But I've been unloaded here and over where that lady was. So cool, cool. There's like truck row right there. A bunch of backed in Silverados and F-150s. These guys are probably waiting for their appointments, I would imagine. Six percent of our drivers feel respected. Okay, what about that other four percent? That's a weird thing to put on the back of your truck. All right, let's get our paperwork. Let's let our engine cool, turbo cool down, and uh, let's go see. It says staging area. It says no parking in that middle area. So I just pulled in behind that guy, and then I guess you go get someone to your thing and get a phone number or something to call. Oh yeah, early, early. Big place though, huge. And I was just searching through Truck Smarter right now, the only load board you want to be using. Totally free, check it out in the app store. Um, and these three loads popped up, JB Hunt, a little bit north of us, go get them in Virginia, and then uh, take them down kind of outside Atlanta, uh, past my little lake property. Report to receiving, present CDL driver's license, present paperwork, watch safety video. Okay, all right, all right. let's go watch the safety video. But yeah. They already counter offered. I just emailed them right now when we stopped. And uh, $809, so they went $9 more. We'll see uh, if that changes. And where are we going? Hmm. There's something coming out of the ground over there. I think I'm supposed to go right here. Not sure. Huh. Well, that is it. All right. Couple years ago. Right, hey, what are they making here mostly? Well, uh, they make a variety of things, all kinds of materials. Oh, okay. And, uh, like anything for building materials, kind of stuff, or? Well, they can make. They're making flooring. Okay. That wood. Wood. I don't know if it's wood or not. That fake waterproof yeah. wood. Yeah, yeah. I, I have that actually in my truck. So. Well, <laughs> it's it's supposed to wear well, you know, and. Yeah be durable I guess durable but like cleaning products stuff like that too and well they make the flat like that vending machine there yeah. they make the, that uh, they make fabric huh everything it's a huge place I was just wondering yeah it just makes all they do all kinds of stuff nice I'm going to ask you to sign there if you don't okay. there's the eastern sign and the guard shack mm -hmm. take over let the warehouse know you're there and they'll tell him what doctor. Awesome. I was just there. Yeah, I mean, you know how to get on there. <laughs> yeah, was, she told me, you got to go check in. All right. Yeah, you got Thank it. you. See you later. Hey, Mike. Thank you. Well, my goodness. So you got to come all the way over here. I think I remember this. That's why I remember going over there. All the way over here just to check in. It's paperwork. Got a little card that says I'm certified to uh, be here, which I didn't actually do anything. She just gave it to me. Um, but yeah, let's go back to the same lady that we were just at. Okay, you big pretty girl. Let's go right back where we were. Oh yeah. UPS coming in. There's that row of truck parking I was talking about. All trucks and one Durango with the Hemi. Oh yeah. I have an RMT live on my... I'm going to put some of that. I'm I'll just keep this paperwork until okay. the callers just park over here and when one of those trucks leave, I'll have you come over. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Like two years ago. Okay. So you see that where it says dock right there, that can't get into the building that's the Yeah. You're going to turn there, Okay. Around, and you're going to go into dock four. Okay, so come around dock one, we'll be over there. 
thing and it looks like we're going to be ready to go guys that was a quick unload but they take your keys from you so <laughs> really safety uh i guess he's gonna move my chocks for me too i put the wheel chocks in i think he might try to move them let's see yeah thanks man appreciate it okay keys back and let's look for some loads uh, jb hunt said i was outbid and then they re then i counter offered even more and then they said um uh, eight hundred and seventeen dollars instead of eight hundred and nine. <laughs> so, all right, JB Hunt or CH uh, Robinson has a couple also. One going outside of Atlanta, one kind of going where I live. <laughs> Appreciate it. Here, we'll have to pull up fifty door for me. All righty. Got the paperwork. Got our keys back. Yes. What does it mean? Check the door. So you guys sealed on the way out too. That way you don't have to open the door back up. Nice. I'd let you Because I saw that guy next to me get his, I thought he was getting loaded. <laughs> no, no, uh, <laughs> this no, makes, that, makes. That's just so you don't have to open the door when you go there back There you go. Now. That's crazy. That's a waste of time. That's all good. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. Yes, that's kind of cool. So you don't have to open your doors up front, but what are you going to steal from here? Because most of the time they're, they're checking inside your trailer to see if you're stealing something or putting something in there, but I mean, I don't know. Maybe they've had problems with that in the past. I don't know. That's cool. They seal it so you, uh, <coughs> sorry, can cut her off later. All good. Let's get out of here with this tight turn and look for a load. This building on the left is what makes it so tight. I don't know who designed it or if they built this building afterwards or if it was for 48 foot day caps eventually, but you really got to make a little tight turn get back out of here. No biggie though. We'll do our best. I got a big old gap to turn out of. Guess she's got to check something off my paperwork. I don't know. She's coming back out. Clearing it, no problem. 
Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, I could have had like a carbon copy thing that she did to her and gave me the other two. And we're done. What was that? Uh, 3100, 3150? No, 3188. Um, round trip to Florida. Oh, not that bad. And up here is a pretty good market for loads, so not a bad area. Truck looks pretty cool in that little uh, reflection of those chromed out windows. Oh, yeah. Not bad at all. This is my shiny side. Okay, let's go find somewhere to park. Look for load. Well, now we will call Burger King our office until we uh, find a load. Got some Andy Griffin going on in the back. Grabbed a little bit of food and um, JB Hunt. Oh, the load's still up there, but they're not moving on it. C.H. Robinson's not even responding. My broker buddy's emailing them and calling him. He's not even responding to him. So maybe it's a slow Monday. I don't know. But there's a couple loads. There's a couple short ones, too. There's a Red Bull one. That I have to go put like 125 up into Kentucky and come back to Knoxville. So there's loads out there. But it's 10, 10, 30, 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we'll see. Just don't like sitting here all day. Ended up on the hillside, just chilling because uh, it's comfortable and gorgeous outside. Had these three going to Florida, Jacksonville, 9 a.m. CNS, not not a great place. Um, but he was he was almost getting those for 18. But then this other one popped up again that they said only 700 would be the top they go. Um, and that was about an hour and a half ago when I was still in Burger King. But he said, let me try and work these floors. And they were going to do 18. Then he's like, wait a second. The guy's calling me back from um, that one. He said, what if I told you I just got you 900? I was like, appreciate it, man. So it's getting close to the pickup. That's always what happens. That's a 2 o'clock uh, appointment. And it's like 12, 15. So it's 20 miles that way. Go fire up the truck. But a beautiful day. Just relaxing out here on the hillside. But this is a short one. It's 100 miles, 900 bucks. Um, delivers in the morning. But I'd rather do that than go 1,800 twice as twice the price but wait five times a mile <laughs> so but then it puts us still in a great area for tomorrow because there's a lot of stuff out of it's going by knoxville a lot of stuff out of knoxville too that um it should be good for tomorrow coming back down to, to kind of there's a lot going towards atlanta like outside of atlanta i'm not moving on the rate though so grateful for that grateful for my rep at sage robinson he uh he enjoys it because he's on the customer side more but when it comes to the broker side like i just got my load assignment appreciate you man um yeah, hanging out in the hill. Let's go pick this thing up, and we got some time now till uh, tomorrow morning. Look at that cab over. Look at that Kenworth. Woo, Circle Lights, I love it. Swifty Pig Barbecue. Okay, I did get passed uh, in the middle median by another Kenworth pulling a reefer. He must live out here, but I'm taking these roads nice and slow because uh, it's kind of a small town, small town field. But this is the most direct route. They all were about 40 minute drive, so. Yeah, but he, he blew through here like he, uh, he's the mayor or the mayor's son or somebody. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to cruise it. Cruise it cool. Pretty, pretty country. A bunch of red barns. And, yeah, we're picking up 40,000 and going 100 miles, 120 miles. I'll take that. So, And also, he got this little wedding venue down. That's pretty. He also got a Florida one. He's like, hey, man, they just accepted that one, too. You need to get somebody in that cab over and, and pick this up. I'm like, no. Uh, that cab over's not going to Florida, man. Maybe, maybe later in life. I really want to swap that cab over that K100 with a 60 series. Um, so we'll see. But I got to get paid for my other truck first. Um, selling it to my buddy, but he's kind of rearranging stuff and then restructuring a little bit of the business. So I have to get that money in my uh, pocket before I start blowing it all into K100. Because that money's just going right back to the K100. That's how we get paid on it. But anyways, yeah, I wanted to show you that cab over. Loved it.
field on the left back there, and they had like their own little runway on it, but it was grass. It's so cool. I mean, look at the lines in that yard to the left. Pretty cool place Tennessee is. Wow, a lot of people are moving here from other areas. All right, we are only 10 miles away from the pickup. Gorgeous country. Those little back roads dropped us out here on 321, which is like a 65, 55 mile an hour, uh, little two, uh, two lane, so a uh, big old house over there on the right on the hill. Hey. Pretty dang cool. Uh, five miles on the left. This next light should be our bingo. Burn Streets. I have picked up and delivered a couple more picked up than I have delivered right in this area right here. I recognize it very much. But we are going, it looks like right next to the Kubota dealer. That big warehouse back there. Okay, wait our turn. That is a lot of Kubotas. Oh my goodness. It's a curtain side, Conestoga just took a right here. We will be doing the same. Uh, there's a car coming right there. I'm not sure if he has a stop. I don't think he does. This Jeep right here. Nope, just going to roll through. I don't want to hit the sides. I'm going to come a little bit wide. There you go. Thank you, thank you. There's one John Deere and one New Holland. <laughs> Sitting in the middle of them all. I need one of those little mini excavators in the lake. Oh yeah. So here's where we're picking up right here to the right. This is 417. It would appear so. I'm gonna swing around like this uh, flatbed is done. So I'm staying out of his way. Yeah, that's definitely it. Showing on the map. All right. She is now. I'm not sure. Truck drivers, visitors, entrance, employees, truck drivers, visitors. That's what you want to see? Because I thought maybe it was down there. But it's right here. Okay. Big old warehouse. Just holding water here right now. Right now. Yeah. Uh, most of the time it's about full of Christmas paper. Okay. <laughs> What's your pickup number? Uh, two four zero nine nine. Okay, fill out. Yeah, I already did right there. Okay. Yeah. Put it in door two. That one that's open right there. Uh huh. Oh. Slide your tandems. Put me a strap in the back. Okay. That's it. When you hear the do, do, do. the thing go down. But come on back in. Okay, thank you. Nice little old lady. Slide your tandem so when you hear the thing go down, come on back in. <laughs> All right. All right, let's get these doors open. Western is out of here. I think he was doing some paperwork or something. And we were probably about halfway loaded already. They started loading right away. As you can see, we were the only truck here. So, yeah. Should be a nice, easy day. Don't mind it. All the way from Jacksonville up here for 900. From here past Knoxville, 900. <laughs> oh man. Like, okay, what are slip sheets? Like, what is that? Like, the it's, sheets in between them or something? Yeah, slip, slips in between each layer. Of the okay. Water. And then so they can scan them. They wanted to get rid of those. Because somebody picked. They could x ray them with that cardboard in them. So recently somebody smuggled guns into That's it? That's what they see. <laughs> That's crazy. Thank you so much. That is crazy and scary. Um, there's like sheets in between each stack of water. And they had to get rid of those now because they're scanning and, and um, like x-raying every product that comes into this place. Now, that's the nuclear plant is where we're going. 
uh, because somebody's smoking a bunch of guns in. <laughs> That's scary. It just makes you wonder. People coming into this country are terrorists or something trying to take out the power grid. Ah, uh, that's, that's real scary. Why would you need guns at a, a nuclear plant? Mm. I don't know if that's the main uh, terminal for Big G, but I've seen their trucks around, and there's a lot of them there. Let me know in the comments. They got a billboard right Getting on that 81, I have not been on it forever. Uh, almost need to turn the air conditioner on. It's a little warm. It says 83. Woo! Warm one today. Taco Bell, Walmart's truck, and uh, whatever that day camp is over there. I don't miss that gear. So see right there, I was trying to float, but I put my foot on a brake. I would have had to give it a little bit of throttle, and then it would have dropped into, um, I call it like eighth gear if it was a 10 speed, but can't math right now. 16, 17, 15, uh, so 14 and 13. <laughs> that year so yeah this guy's got some lumber i guess lumber is some of the lowest prices it's ever been right now and that right there is the philip 66 i think there's a truck stop over there i'm not sure he's rolling backwards here he goes okay Pete. all right so i think i'm gonna go to the kenworth store and then we'll close this one out let's we'll see if they have that uh speed turbo speed sensor for me so i can get this check engine light out of my face i'm sure that gives some kind of feedback reading to my computer telling it how fast my turbo is spinning. So we need to get that fixed. So what we got here? We got uh, just checking on your uh, trailer. All right. There you go. That guy was in front of me for uh, a little bit ever since I kind of left where I was coming from. But MNC is on the right up here right outside of Knoxville. So let's go there get some parts or a part. Station is open. They need to get that sign a little bit more illuminated. A little bit brighter sign, maybe. Alright, what's the speed in Tennessee? I have not been through a way station in Tennessee for a while. What's it got? 30? Alright, we're about 40, so let's drop it down, drop it down. That's 35, there's 30. Says bypass when full. When ramp is full. When ramp is definitely not full. Maintaining our 30. Where kind of arrow are we gonna get? Uh, all right, arrow to the left. Just keep on rolling. Tennessee's hit and miss, like kind of like Virginia. Sometimes they're like pulling everybody in. Sometimes they're Georgia, not really pulling anybody in. Got a tanker over there, a couple of trailers. One looks like it's a hot shot. It looks like one guy's kind of getting uh, getting talked to or some or paperwork check. That's one of the only uh, way stations I've ever had like a paperwork check was um, Tennessee. Tennessee, the only 10 I see. All right, let's get back to speed and get to Knoxville. Kind of on the outside. Of Knoxville to the east. That is where the MHC Kenworth is. So I've never been to this one. I don't even know if I've ever been off this exit. But we just passed the interchange going up to Kentucky, going up to like Lexington, where we went um, for Mets. We're Louisville going to see up there. Uh, let's see, we got International I can see down there. I'm just praying to have some truck parking. <laughs> truck with a trailer parking. Or at least somewhere to turn around, you know? It's on the left. We caught the train. Okay, okay. Uh, the camera's right there across the tracks, so. As long as we got somewhere to turn it around, I'll be happy. It looks like from the GPS you have some room, so. As long as we can get turned back around and just see if they have this part in stock. Ah, oh, that's a quick train, good. Uh, let's see where the, I don't even see a turn in to this place. Okay, I see a frontage road right there. Bye bye train. Is that an 86 inch 
sleeper? I don't know. There's a nice flat top and 86. Not my kind of colors, but yeah, that's a nice truck. See what the ticket price is on that one. Oh man. Okay, so yeah, we have parking over here to the right. Not a lot of parking, but I'm going to pull in here and back up into it. Like a glove, a little bit of parking there. You just see some people left their trailers there, probably getting their trucks worked on. But I'll leave it running, let it cool off that turbo and that oil. And we always take a picture of your VIN or know the last eight of your VIN. Uh, very helpful when you um, need parts because they're gonna ask you for that. Drive the bottom. Uh, but that's the uh, Kevin's part number. Yep. Yeah. Right, man. I'll we'll go search it online. Appreciate it. What was the list though on this one? Say, sorry, 354 30. 354 that's it. All right, thanks, man. Well, on that note, guys, that's the part number 555 dollars 300 and what do you say, $354.30? Whoo, a little bit expensive. Hey, Kenworth, that's Cummins. I don't know if a Series 60 Detroit even has a speed sensor because I spent $300 just on a turbo. That's it. Either way, I love my Cummins. I love it being rebuilt from Hey Guy Diesel down there in Griffin, Georgia. But uh, these parts like these can, can ruin you. So we'll see what it costs online and get back in this truck and get closer to our stop and close this video. But like we said, on that note, 390 is what I'm finding it for OEM. And there's a lot of aftermarket ones. Some of them are like $29, but this is the one I'm buying because I bought other stuff in this place before and it was good. So. God bless you. Um, try and get your dealer part numbers if you can and find aftermarket because that's a heck of a price difference right there for a speed sensor. Just a little wire sensor. God bless you. We'll see you on the next one.